Hi everyone, today we are unboxing Itzy's newest album. Not me forgetting what the album is actually called. I of course ordered from K-Town for you. I typically always order my albums from there, but I'm seeing lately a lot of people are having problems with them. So I'm a little nervous that soon I'm gonna have to find like a new place to shop. Uh, I, just, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. But we ordered Itzy's newest album and I'm really excited to open it, so yeah. Oh my gosh, is that the set? What is that? Oh my gosh, wait. Okay. Is there supposed to be a third one or is there just two? That's the question. Itsy pre-orders, I never understand them, quite frankly. Sometimes there's like different versions, sometimes there's one version. It's so confusing. The pre-order set, there are two different pre-orders. So yeah, I think this is probably just going to be a duplicate, which is fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the pre-order benefits. These probably might just be postcards. Which, not going to lie, if they are postcards and they're this size, I'm going to be kind of happy. Oh, they do look like post a photo card. I... Oh my gosh, a front and back photo card? Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, oh, obviously we got Young. Whoa, hold on. Oh, it does. Okay, these are the hidden cards. If I just scroll down. Um, obviously there's no posters here. I hate posters. We're not, she's just not happening. But I kind of really enjoy postcards shaped like this. Oh. <laughs> My girl. I just need to know, did she get into a fight with the stylist and like they did that for her because I'm so upset by it. I am hurt for her. Rujin, she looks so cute. Cheryoung. And then Yuna, oh Yuna looks so cute. I really like this. I I like their postcards, pre-order post postcard words their pre-order postcards are honestly sometimes the most annoying things when it comes to storing but i feel like these are also going to be equally annoying to store but at least they can be stored the um not shy pre-orders i think are the most annoying because they just fit so weirdly or they're too they're too big um, I probably feel like this was the day version and that's the night version. There's no official title. I'm just feeling that. But I love this outfit Yeji's in. That's beautiful. Oh, she looks so good. This is honestly a good outfit for her. Rujin. <gasps> oh my gosh. She's so beautiful. If there's a photo card that she looks like that in, I'm genuinely keeping it i'm kind of wanting to like collect i okay i've been taking a break from collecting but i only collect talia but i finish itsy really fast and like they do a really good job about putting the right amount of stuff in your albums so i've been wanting to collect either another member or just like i'm thinking about maybe a set like a random set for everybody i think that one might be better but each time it gets harder and harder Oh, we got Yuna. Honestly, I thought I saw a part of it and I really thought it was going to be Cherry Young again. Oh no, it's Yuna again. That's okay, that's okay. These albums are just so big. I liked that their other albums had kind of like the same size to them i love when groups keep the same size packaging for a lot of things but it's okay i think this will fit on my shelf i think somebody said it was about the same size as got seven's last album and that fits on my shelf shelf just fine so let's go ahead and unbox the day version i think this one might be my favorite i just like the colors and the outfits <laughs> i mean i don't know what this outfit is but <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and continue. Mafia in the morning. Let's discuss her. Ooh, those are fun. I didn't like it at first. I'm gonna be real honest. 
Honestly, a lot of people came out with music that night. Alec Benjamin, Itzy, of course, Hailey Kiyoko, um, Miley Cyrus released that remix with that other guy. I don't know, a TikTok song. I was just very overwhelmed. Uh, and I watched the music video, and I think that was my first problem. I usually don't pay attention too well to a song if I'm watching a music video for the first time. The music video was taking me out. The way it was edited, it gave me a very strong Stray Kids vibe, which I know people don't like to hear comparing, but I'm only going to compare because this is my experience, okay? Sorry. But it was giving me very Stray Kids vibes, and I couldn't figure out why it was giving me very uh, God's Menu, and I, I thought I was just being delusional, if I'm being honest. She's gorgeous. This strip though, always when they're in live stages and she has this, it makes me feel like she's wearing a headband because she always tucks like part of it in. And I always forget, it's a highlight. But after, oh, she's so gorgeous. After my friend and I discussed and he said that it also gave him Stray Kids, God's Menu and Backdoor vibes. So I didn't, I didn't feel too delusional after that. But I didn't really like it. I didn't like this song and then I went to bed and I had I'm the mafia stuck in my head <laughs> She's so pretty Whoever blew out her hair this way and whoever gave her this outfit honestly, thank you She's so gorgeous Oh my god, she's so pretty. Look at this picture. I would want that picture. Honestly, if like I was that pretty, that would be my profile picture for everything. But what was I saying? Oh yeah, I didn't like it, but I slept on it, woke up with it in my head. I listened to it uh, just on Spotify and like it grew on me. And I don't necessarily know how I feel about that because like I just got to the point where I've accepted it almost in a way, but I don't know. I just, there's, it's just not a comeback that I'm super in love with for them right now. Maybe later on it'll get better. What a dynamic duo. But I don't know, there's just, it's hard to watch live stages, but I watch them all weird. This, this song is just way too catchy, but uh, there's something in the choreographies that like, there's parts that just seem so awkward to me and I don't really like them. So it makes it kind of hard to fully enjoy it, but Itzy did such a good job. Also, this is nothing towards Itzy. I know people like to get like, oh, here's my opinion about something. It's like, oh, you hate Itzy. Calm down, I don't. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just not super in love with it. Okay, here's the member covers, but I have no idea how to tell. I'm... I have no idea. How to tell what is what um so yeah i'll probably have to look at that later so that's just my thought on the title track to be honest i listened to part of the album and i think i only got to wild wild west i was at work and honestly they all kind of sounded the same and I just wasn't vibing with it and I haven't been back since. I mean to come back to listen to these two, but out of what I heard here, Sorry Not Sorry was probably my favorite. So that is the day version. Let's go ahead and look at everything. <gasps> I accidentally saw the, mm. anyways, here's some stickers. That's fun. These ones are pretty. I really like that. Uh, what is this? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's gorgeous. This kind of looks like it'll fit in a one package page for a binder. Um, if there's only one version of these, mind you, bit oh, beware of Itsy noted. Uh, if I collect a set of this, mind your business. What is this? A bigger poster? Feels very much like new. Oh, it's just a track list. Um, oh, you know what? That does make sense. I was kind of wondering where the credits went, but that's okay. Um, okay, so here are uh, this. I'm gonna keep out. I probably won't store the stickers. Um, there's two photo cards. I thought there were three. But I might be confusing that with the last comeback since there were unit cards and this one thing fully 
I don't know. I kind of like the unit cards, but I'm pretty sure there is not any unit cards. There's just five members per five members. Oh my gosh. There's five photo cards per member. So the, <laughs> there's their pictures are on the back and I already ruined it. Um, but the first one we have is Yeji. These cards look so pretty. These cards look so pretty. Oh my gosh. And then the next photo card we have is Rujin. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I really like this version. This is really pretty. Wait. Oh, I thought they like. Wait, do they line up? Kind of. I, I think I might be seeing too much into this. I just think they're with the ball. Anyways, this, this, this is my favorite. All right, let's get into the night version. I just, like I said, I haven't really, oh, that's so disappointing too. I did not realize that I was only two songs away from being finished with that album when I was listening. But like I said, I was at work and I just wasn't feeling it. And I felt that like if I made myself listen to any more, I would just not come back to it. So I definitely need to find the time for it. I just haven't really been in like the new music mood. I've just been stuck on like the same few songs. I don't know. Does anybody else get that way? Like you could just listen to the same song on repeat for like hours at a time. I don't know. I feel like that's a little not relatable but that's how i feel and currently it's alec benjamin's newest music or newest song it came out the same day as itzy's comeback and it's already my second most listened to song on spotify so that's a little much Ooh, i like that but i do i do like this comeback style wise i like the styling of it honestly um but yeah mafia in the morning she is too catchy for me to not go back to it. I love this outfit. I'm just so sorry for her bangs. I'm so sorry. When I saw this like preview or the yeah, the preview, they released this concept first and I was like not that like the looks matter, sure, but I thought she was going to like they permanently did this. I didn't know it was a clip on. I was praying that it was a clip on. But, oh my gosh, can you imagine? I don't know how she feels. Maybe she really likes them. I would have cried if, like, somebody put those bangs on me and was like, we're taking a lot of pictures and we're filming things. I would cry. I could not do it. <laughs> I could not do it. Oh my gosh. Cherry Young. I wish she had more. 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 Just more. I wish she had more in Mafia in the Morning. I know she has quite a few center parts and like she's got like the same amount as Leah, I think, or like just a little less. I'm not sure. But I wish she had more. Also, Leah getting to sing in her natural voice, something so comfy to her. I'm living. That's what also brings me back. It's like Leah just sounds so good. But well, all of them do sound good, but Leah oh my gosh she really snapped and then Yuna she's really getting her moments to shine which I love to see but overall I'm there's just something that's so addicting I guess to it see maybe addicting is like too strong of a word but I just find them so fun to watch what's not to like want to come back that's why like on every live stage I'm there I will be there and I just love that look it's just it's a very catchy song and it'll get stuck in my head i'm every now and then i'm just singing about being the mafia so i really like it um this looks to be the exact same cd plate so i'm not taking that out also my cd is getting lost um yeah that's pretty much the same so let's go ahead and look the stickers are different it's a yellow one same stickers different color right i'm pretty sure they are i forgot i put it back here's the credits it's on an orange newspaper we're gonna just stick that back in there and bypass it so here's the poster oh i think it said cherry <gasps> it says leah i don't know why i thought 
Anyways, we have Leah. She's so pretty in this outfit. I love this concept. This is a really pretty concept. <gasps> Wait. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so it looks like we have the same version photo card as Yeji and Rujin. And this one actually belongs to Yuna. So here she is with her crystal ball. I'm a little lost about this. And then we have i think these are like the same colors maybe this honestly i thought was a not shy photo card but it's yeji i don't know if the colors are all the same or they like go to each girl but oh oh my gosh she's stunning she's stunning we have the yeji finally something of a different concept and the last version the day and night version let's go ahead and get everything out of here so what does what does this concept mean that it's a mixture of the two i feel like they're really big on doing that like they don't really give that oh yeah i think it's just a mixture i know sometimes people don't really like that but like for some reason they're really big on just <laughs> making like three versions and then recycling at least two versions and putting it into the album so yeah oh, she's so pretty it's not fair red red looks so good on leah okay stunning i really really do like this this uh the day concept so much Yuna's so pretty. Sometimes I forget how young she is and it makes me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't. She has so much power at such a young age. The confidence, I could never. I can't even relate currently. Okay, okay, Yeji. She's so cute. I love them. <gasps> Oh my gosh. I really miss them. Oh. Why are we opening? I'm so excited. So many groups are coming back now. Which like, I'm on a, uh, the Mafia. Cute. Uh, I've been saving for a car that I want to get at the end of the year. So like my spending habits are kind of low. Um, but so many groups are coming back. TXT is next, I think. Twice. Monster X. Um, wait, is this? I think this is different. Was the last one different? Because like, I don't know. These CDs are confusing me. If somebody's face isn't on it, I'm lost. I'm a lost cause. So here's this the the lyric thing. Where's the stickers? What color do we think this is? Oh, it literally looks the same as the first one. So, oh my gosh, one of the photo cards is flipped up. So here we go. Oh, I think this is different. The purple looked a little lighter. Oh, it's Yeji. So we're only missing. Cheryoung and Yuna. Mm, that's dangerous. Dangerous. Okay, so, oh no! We got a duplicate Rujin. And then the last photo card we have is Yuna's. Oh my gosh, I love her eyeliner. That's so pretty. Oh. This is really good. I really liked the styling of it. I might not be the biggest fan of it musically, but I do always like their styling of concepts. So yeah, I think, you know, not every comeback is for everyone. That's perfectly okay. I'm still going to support the girls. I really love them. And I'm just going to look forward to their next comeback. But Mafia in the morning, it's catchy. It's on my phone. I listen to it more than I probably want to admit after saying that like, I don't really vibe with it, but I like it. I'm gonna go think about making bad choices. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.